I hated running so much. My body, my legs, my lungs couldn't handle. Even if it's just one kilometer, I would already die. Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to this video. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Nicole. Today, let's talk about how to get started running. This year, I actually set a goal for myself to run 750 kilometers. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? I don't know what I'm doing to myself. But last year, I was actually able to run 450 kilometers despite never really running before. So I thought this year, yeah, why not bring it on? So, tada, let's start running this year. If ever you wanted to try running out as a hobby or as a way to get fitter, but you didn't really know how to get started or how to be consistent, that's okay, I got you. I filmed this video last year, but it's only now that I edited and posted it. Yeah, these are my tips on how to get started running. Just to put it out there, I'm not a fitness professional by any means. I'm just a person who used to hate running, but now I love running. This video isn't so much about the technical side of actually how to run, proper form, those things. You can search that. This is more of me sharing how I actually made myself run consistently, the systems that I put into place so that I could become a runner. And the way I structured this video is like I divided it into two main parts. So the first one, I just want to give you guys some context about me. And then I want to talk about the things that I did, the system that I put in place in order to become a runner. G, all right. Let's get started. Right, so just to start now, some context about me, my running story. I was fairly active pre-pandemic. During this pandemic, because we all stayed at home and I didn't really do anything besides work, 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 I completely stopped exercising. My pre-pandemic weight was like 62 kilos. And during the span of this entire pandemic, I got as heavy as 70 kilos. This year, I decided enough was enough. I was getting really frustrated with myself na. And I said, you know what? It's time to make a change talaga. I'm going to start taking care of myself again. So I thought, eh. Why not try running? I'm jogging. Hello, this is day three. Fourth time? Yeah, long was up. Another day, another jogging. So I'm gonna run. And it's raining. <laughs> oh my god. So what were the things that I did to make myself a runner? There were four main things that I implemented in my life. First one, race the stakes. So what I did at the start of the year was that I signed up for a virtual race. You sign up for a certain distance, and all you have to do is like run the distance, record it, submit it, and then you have to complete what you signed up for in order to finish the race. So the virtual race became some form of commitment device. If I said I just wanted to start running, it wouldn't be a compelling enough reason to actually build the habit of running. At least for me, yeah. Like in the past, I told myself, I'm gonna start running. So I would run probably for a week, and then afterwards, wala na. Like there was no consequence kasi that would happen if I just stopped running. So the virtual race did two things for me. So first, it made me commit because there was like a financial um, aspect at stake. I paid 595 pesos to join a race. So like, if I didn't complete that race, 595 go bye bye. And then also, there was the material aspect. If I were to complete the race, I would get my medal. So you know, that's like that made me commit into finishing the race. Second, I built a routine, habit loop style. So previously, I made a video about how I work towards my goals, and in that video, I talked about habit loops. So when it came to running, I really wanted to incorporate it into my routine, into my habit, into my lifestyle. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would wake up at 6.30 a.m. Then I would go downstairs, do like the seven-minute runner warm-up stretch in like the Nike Training Club app. This warm-up is designed to improve mobility as you prepare for intense workouts or going out for a run. Put on my mask, put on my cap, wear my shoes, then go out. I also listened to the same podcast, I would go the same route. Sometimes I would change things up, but in general, the structure of my morning runs were the same. Third, incremental upgrades to my gear. Parang like reward milestones. I mentioned this before, but a big potential trap when we're starting on something new is the urge to overprepare. Like the type of thinking na, I need to have this equipment first, or like I need to have a certain pair of shoes, or I really need to have this pair of workout clothes before I actually start working out, or before I actually start making a video, before I actually start exercising. Preparation sometimes can become an illusion of like making progress. Like, you want to start running or you want to start a new hobby. Therefore, you do all of this research, you buy all of this new equipment, and you think you're making progress, but actually you have not made any progress at all. You haven't started. I think the advice here is that you have to start before you're ready. Like in my case, I impulsively signed up for a virtual race in February, the day before the registration closed, and then the day after, I just went out for a run. Yeah, eventually I would research more about running programs, I would research more about the proper type of shoes, incremental upgrades, but those came after. 
the really important thing talaga was that I got started. So the fourth thing I did was something I called accountability filming, or in a more general sense, just tracking my progress. This isn't a super requirement, but what I did kasi is like whenever I started a run, I would record myself. But in general, like the app of documenting or like tracking your progress really helps you commit more especially when you start seeing progress like that's the most addicting like rewarding part to say is when you start seeing progress and in order to progress faster with your fitness goals sabi nga nila diba, that abs are made in the kitchen but did you know that you can also build abs in your brain what <laughs> in addition to working out your body to get physically fit you can also work out your mind by learning new skills which is perfect because the sponsor of this video is skillshare the segue. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of interesting classes on productivity, graphic design, photography, even freelancing. One of the life skills I want to learn, or at least improve, is cooking. I can cook and follow instructions, but I eventually I want to get better at it. And because abs are made in the kitchen, some of my class recommendations for you guys is this class by Kenny Monroe on a beginner's guide to cooking with confidence. Or this class by Julie Yoon on practical tips for cooking with intuition. You know those people who just like, no measure, just like cook, cook, cook. Yes, I want to learn how to do that. Or if you're not learning how to cook, but then you have a lot of goals to achieve, here's another helpful class by Thomas Frank on how to build productivity habits that last. Learning is super fun, and it's time for you guys to build abs in your brain. So I partnered up with Skillshare to give the first 1,000 of you guys a free one month trial if you sign up to the link in the description. Yeah, thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So those were the general things that I did, but now let's talk about more specific resources and actual tips on how to get started running. There's so much noise no, when it comes to the fitness industry on what supplements to take, what diet to do, what programs to do. Like there's, there's so much noise. And sometimes it can get overwhelming for someone who's a complete beginner who knows nothing about fitness. So the first one is like a general resource for everything about fitness. It has guides on weight loss, muscle building, everything about nutrition. No? And yeah, you can like learn everything that you need to know about fitness in this website. Then next, as for the actual apps and programs I want to recommend that you guys check out. First one is the Couch to 5K program. So this is like a running program kasi designed for people who have never ran before. People who are working to run their first 5K. Um, I also recommend downloading Nike Run Club and Nike Training Club. So Nike Run Club, I really like their guided runs. Like they have a variety of runs there. They have short runs, long runs, speed runs, interval runs, 5K runs, your first run. And what's helpful is that with the guided runs, you have a coach telling you what to do. Like they give you cues on like how you should be running, how fast to run, how slow to run. It's very helpful. And as for the app that I use for the virtual race, I'm not sponsored, but I use Pinoy Fitness. When I needed to log my miles, I just needed to like screenshot or like take a picture as proof and I'll submit it in the app. And you know, that's how I track my miles for the races. So this isn't so much a specific recommendation, but you need to invest in proper equipment. Running has a very low barrier to entry. You don't need a lot of equipment to start. You literally just need your feet and shoes and you can just go. I know at the start I said that you don't need to buy everything agad, but it's worth it to invest in proper equipment, especially as you get deeper and deeper into running. And when it comes to running shoes, you don't just like buy whatever shoes. Uh. It depends on your feet then. We have different types of feet, like some are supinated, pronated, the arch of your feet. And it's best to actually get your foot measured at like a proper running store so that they can um, recommend the proper type of shoe for you. Then lastly, recommendation, you need to supplement your running with some form of conditioning, like strength training talaga. In addition to me running, I also like did some strength training workouts so that, you know, like build some muscle then. Because running is just like a form of cardio. But when you start trying to stay healthy, you need like strength training, cardio, you need some flexibility also. But it also helps you in running kasi when you build stronger legs, a stronger core, it helps you become a better runner. So yeah, running sucks, especially at the start. But believe me when I say that when you put in the consistent work now, put in the effort, put in the miles, you'll eventually start noticing that you're running further, you're running faster, and sometimes you're even less tired. Like, it's so fun. I love running. Hopefully these tips help you get started with running. We talk a lot about investing in different assets, but this is a gentle reminder to also take care of yourself, invest in yourself, invest in your health. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. And in order to progress fat, fatter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, abs are made in the kitchen. <laughs> A big stomach. <laughs> ah, stop. Okay.